This is the 2021 laptop I am telling people to buy in 2023. From a battery life standpoint, performance, build quality, it has everything you need. And the performance is second to none, even lining up against 2023 laptops. Now, first and foremost, let's just talk about the battery life because that even hasn't improved in the latest models. You can get nine hours of battery life for productivity, seven hours for streaming video playback, five hours for Photoshop, and about four hours for video editing. Now, taking a look at the Geekbench single core and multi-core scores, you would think that this laptop does not have what it takes because it looks like it falls down the charts from competing laptops. However, as we get into 3D modeling with this laptop toted in an RTX 3060, not a 3070 Ti with just an RTX 3060, you can see that it's not far behind some of the top laptops in 2023. If you were to go ahead and upgrade this to the RTX 3070 Ti, you would be in really good hands and this thing would give you plenty of performance in 3D modeling. Now where this laptop really stands out to me is in Photoshop. Now it comes with 16 gigs of RAM stock and that will score you a 788 inside of Photoshop, which is a reasonable score, not incredible. However, when you upgrade this laptop to 32 gigs of RAM, you immediately jump to a 954 inside of Photoshop, which is on par with the latest laptops. Now, a lot of the 2023s are scoring in the 1,100 range, but being that that's two generations and we've only seen a roughly 200 point increase in performance, you can see why I'm saying that this 2021 laptop is still just as incredible. Now, have you been able to guess what this laptop is yet? Oops, I snuck a little secret in there. Let me know in the comments below. Now, After Effects is one area that this laptop definitely struggles in. From 16 gigs of RAM to the RTX 3060, it just doesn't have the ceiling that you would need to really be a heavy After Effects laptop. If I were you, I would get this laptop with the RTX 3070 Ti and 32 gigs of RAM. Okay, let's reveal it. It is the 2021 Lenovo Legion 5 Pro. And if you're curious about the exact pricing and availability, I'll put links in the description. If you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. This laptop truly is a amazing buy in 2023. It still has an incredible keyboard that actually comes on the 2023 model. In 2022, they switched to more of these plasticky keycaps that were gray, but for the 2021 and 2023, they had these more softer black keycaps, which I really like. So honestly, this is more reminiscent of the 2023 than even the 2022. Now, the bezels on the laptop are not my favorite. They've had these kind of chintzy gaming bezels for quite a long time, and in the 2023 model, they got rid of these and really improved the laptop. So overall, we see a very similar laptop to 2021, 2022, and 2023 outside of some design changes. Now, the panel on this laptop is still great from 2021 to 2023. We have 534 nits of screen brightness, a 99% sRGB, 79% Adobe RGB, and 79% DCI-P3, all in a Delta E of 1.24. Great color gamut range and great color accuracy for digital artists, graphic designers, photographers, and video editors. Now let's jump back into some performance benchmarks. In DaVinci Resolve, this laptop scores an export time of seven minutes and 23 seconds for the 4K to 4K export. Pretty on par with most laptops, however, slightly slower than the latest version of the Legion Pro 5. Taking a look at 4K to 4K export out of Premiere Pro, we score a three minute and 52 second export time. That's about a whole minute slower. So that's a nine minute 4K clip, put into Premiere Pro and then export it out at full quality YouTube settings. A minute could save you a lot of time if you say you have an hour project. So that would be a 10 minutes in savings of the export time. But is it worth it? You could save quite a bit of money by going with this laptop. Now, before I continue, well, uh, Ben, what spec is this laptop? You haven't even mentioned it yet. This is the Ryzen 7 5800H with the RTX 3060 and 16 gigs of RAM and a one terabyte SSD. So you're getting two generations older CPU, one generation older GPU, and we're still seeing this performance. I don't know if that's a tell of the lack of improvement or just the incredible performance of an older laptop like this Legion. Was it ahead of its time or have we just not been able to improve as much? What are your thoughts? Now, playback in Premiere Pro is one area that you definitely get better performance out of the RTX 3070 Ti. Click or tap the screen at the end of this video for that video 
or the RTX 4070. In my opinion, 5,833 drop frames for 6K B-RAW video editing is a little much. You will notice that. That will give you a little bit of a laggy timeline as you're trying to play back full quality. However, quick hack, I never edit on the full quality setting for my timeline. I'm always at half quality, fourth quality, or even one eighth quality because I want the smoothest playback possible and I don't need the sharpest resolution on my playback monitor. So in essence, it really doesn't matter because who is playing back full quality in their timeline on Premiere Pro? Again, another question, comment below if you're that person. I'm not saying you're wrong, but I'm just saying you can get a lot of performance out of a lot of different laptops if you just drop down that quality to half, fourth, or eighth quality and get great playback performance. Now, for a lot of US and international buyers, these are the most available laptops on the market. As I'm scrolling Amazon for, for instance, India, where a lot of my viewers are from, shout out to India, I see a ton of these models available. And I wanted to post this video because I wanted to show you that, yes, this is a laptop that is great for Photoshop, 3D modeling, video editing, some After Effects, I would recommend getting 32 gigs of RAM in the RTX 3070 Ti version, but it does have the performance you need in 2023. Don't get fooled by all the marketing hype and jargon. This is still a fantastic buy. Remember that links are in the description below. If you do make a purchase, I get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Click or tap the screen here for the videos that I mentioned in this video. I'll see you in the next one.